extra support under there. So that my out here is nice and strong. Hmm. Guess while that's curing, I can go sand some mold. So now that I got my window giant sphere things worked out, I'm thinking these top eyebrows are totally redundant. So I ripped one off. That was kind of hard. I hope they all come off though. Holy cow, these things are strong. That's a good thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think I can actually close this up. And that part will be done. And then I can just throw all kinds of plastic bottles in there for emergency flotation in case there's a disaster. Oh, that looks great. Oh, I'm so loving this. It's a good thing I love this. Because otherwise I would have quit. Like a long time ago. And that's the cool thing about doing stuff you love. It's harder to quit then. Not that I would quit anyway once I start doing something. But when you really love it, it makes it easier. And more fun. Oh, I can't wait to put the lid on. I better wait to make sure it's all hardened around there first though. Oh, then I can finally throw this ever-increasing pile of bottles in there. That'll be nice. Wait a second. Some of those don't even have lids and are filthy. Uh, I'm going to have to tell a certain someone. Only clean containers with lids on the boat. Hmm. Hi. Hi, guys. All right, I triple waxed my giant bowl here and laid two layers of fiberglass in there. Hopefully they'll come out nice and easy, I hope. I got my second one of these in the works. And I left the lid on there overnight and it still came off, which is excellent. If it's pretty snug though, it's, it kind of had to use the hammer edge to pry it off. Because there's no handle yet. But it doesn't need a handle because I don't need to open that much. I tinted this one a little black, just for no particular reason. Now this circle is one of the ones I cut out of the window holes. So it's the same size as the window holes. So before I made the second piece, I put this in there and drew a line where it was. And then made this come up to the edge, except at the bottom part, where it's going to overlap under the window lip, I guess. Right now I just want to clean up around the edge. All right, I've got a line about a third of the way down here, whoosh, and then two thirds over there. Not counting the extra little lip. Oh, it's always easy to cut this stuff. Oh. Cool. <laughs> cool. Holy sun. I can take out my temporary fasteners in a minute. All right, big eyeball, cool, super cool looking thing. Let's see if I got this right. It fits really snug, so I kind of need to... I'll have to have a handle up here to like kind of crack that seam. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Nice. I did a couple different tries on exactly where to get the screw for the pivoty point, but yeah, this looks great. And hopefully, if I let it slam closed, it'll like kind of connect the seal here. Oh, marvelous. Cause like right behind this, this part has another part that like goes up and under. You can see a little bit under there. Oh man, that's good. Oh, it's so solid. 
It's so solid, Captain. Oh, it's marvelous. I love those. And water could get under here, so I just have to, when I, you know, connect this piece all the way, have a little bit of fiberglass that comes down over here. Like a little, little umbrella-y thing. Just have to smack that. In. I want to see what it's like. Oh man, that's nice. Ooh, it just tucks right in there. Oh, let's check out the other side. Now if I can just make nine more of these just like this. Oh yeah, and it goes out over the thing. Oh, it's perfect. Oh man. The screw pivot inside is just a temporary thing. I'll put something better than that later. I don't know. There's no rush though. I can do that whenever. Alright, dude. Just make nine more of those. Oh. Yeah. oh, circles and circles and circles and circles. Oh, there's another one. And this thing out here is probably going to take uh, like another week to sand it all. Sanding is dreadful on fiberglass, so I just do it when I get so inspired. Or maybe I'll just do it all at once one of these days. Totally sanded. At least, as much as I'm willing to sand it. Ho ho ho! Just gotta attach my last bottom piece here. It's always nice having inanimate object helpers. They, they just never complain. I can't believe how fast those windows were.